Okay, here's my next panel. It's uh, 32 inches wide by 68 inches high. Um, I've got it to fit inside my sliding glass door wall back there. Messy room right now, but cleaned it up a bit already. Anyway, um, so essentially I've used 1x3 and a partial sheet of plywood that I just bought. This is all new materials. This aluminum right here um, is essentially a 2-inch piece of aluminum bent to a 45. I hand bent it so you can kind of see some of the imperfections in there. I like to get a break, aluminum break or something and bend it next time. Anyway, so so now the, uh, the 45 is pointed up essentially um, like this, if you will. Uh, point it up, upward where there's two prongs are pointed up so that way the sun reflects off this, bounces up here. Also, comes in the hole, goes here, goes back around, it stops, goes here, so there's there's goes and stops for each of these um, pieces of aluminum. Kind of running short um, on all these aluminum pieces. I calculated two-thirds of the way through and realized I just bought these nifty little um, pie pans or whatever they are, aluminum pans, that I was kind of intending on doing something like this with them anyway. Put those, slapped those in the middle, drilled a bunch of holes in them, and uh, put these couple of decorative pieces in the middle, but I'm sure they'll generate heat also. A couple of slots right in the middle. So there's kind of designed it as I went, this part. I think the next panel I'd like to just probably run all aluminum like this all through it, have enough to do that. But uh, we'll see how this one works. I'm sure it'll generate some heat. I'm going to paint it tomorrow and then plastic it in the front, hanging in that door wall probably. Uh, most likely the following day if the vapors aren't so strong. This time I got gloss back black um, spray paint from Lowe's uh, for 99 cents and I thought that was a great deal and it was gloss black so that might help uh, quite a bit more as well. So we're going to see what kind of heat we get off this. We'll probably be able to try it out Wednesday or Thursday. Today is Monday. Uh, I keep forgetting what day but I think it's the 18th, November 18th, 2013. And that's a real simple um, panel. The thing I like about this style is I don't have to collect a bunch of cans and wash them out and everything. And the aluminum is really not that expensive. You can get a, um, a roll of aluminum for in the upper 60s, lower $70 range, which will do probably four of these type of panels. So instead of playing around with pop cans and all that, you can you know do this, generate just as much or more heat depending on your, your design. Um, so I didn't, I didn't want to go with the pop cans and all the washing of them and all that. I want a new material as much as possible. And uh, you can actually buy this aluminum in black too. So the, so the nice thing about that would be minimal you know, painting, minimal spray painting as well too. Especially if they're right up on top of each other the way these things are. There's very little gaps in between them. You can't hardly see any gaps. I just put some tap screws in there some self uh, self tapping screws that were just long enough to make it through this and the wood they kind of put a little nipple on the other side of the wood in some cases because they are just that long you can probably get shorter ones that work even better but uh, for our purposes and for what I had kind of laying around the house it was good I'll be testing this out in the next couple days it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow and the next day but unfortunately this one probably won't be ready until the next sunstorm, <laughs> as I call it. Anyway, that's about it. I've got this uh, little workshop room back here. It used to be my wife's small beauty salon on the end of our house. I'm going to try to keep this room warmer. The heat source from the heater is not very good back here. Um, by putting it, popping it in that, that door wall. It's a southern facing um, door wall, glass door wall. So that's about it for now. Signing off. Bye-bye.